essay read on the topic, Army of God, the Left America. During the 1980s, anti-abortion terrorist groups such as the Army of God rejected the political left-leaning American system through physical violence with the intent of prioritizing the role of Christianity over the American government. A couple things I like here. Number one, they're giving us a date. Uh, they're identifying terrorist groups in a general way, but then they also reference the Army of God. So like, let's just say that they didn't include this. I would be skeptical at asking the question in my head, like, well, what anti-abortion terrorist groups are they talking about? But the student here seemed to address that. They're saying that the Army of God is the specific group that they're going to be talking about, as they mentioned here. Then they're going on to talk about their, um, you know, rejecting the, uh, the left-leaning American system. Uh, the way that's phrased, I get a sense that this is going to be a reference to uh, abortion, family values, or something connected to the sexual revolution. It really shows a student did some research and knows the topic. There they say the through phys rejected. So they're saying they rejected through physical violence with the intent of prioritizing the role of Christianity over the American government. So that seems to be priority, their religion as opposed to the government. Let's see how they address this point. The rise of the new left in the 1960s and 1970s when activists advocated for diverse social issues allowed for abortion to become a controversial topic in America. So they're giving us some historic context here. They're not uh, giving me a massive summary about the 60s or the 70s. They're saying a lot in this one sentence. While women's rights ensued across the nation, unwanted pregnancies simultaneously forced women to pursue illegal surgeries against the will of conservative Americans. So this is an interesting phrasing right here because this directly links to the role that they're addressing here. The liberalization of abortion in 1973 through Roe v. Wade, so this is where the federal government's going to support, resulted in violent acts committed by those of the radical religious right, people who use Christianity as the basis for the American government and reject the need for social change. So here they're talking about social change, um, you know, and they kind of mentioned that uh, prior where, where they mentioned that, you know, up here in this particular section here where they're talking about some of those social issues. As recounted by ethics professor Nicholas Dixon, lethal shootings of doctors and other people who work at abortion clinics were committed, thus violating the nonviolent terms of civil disobedience, in which people refrain from violence to protest for social and political change. So here they're giving us specifics. Now they're not really getting too much into, um, you know, the army of God. So I would probably say at this point, well, you didn't really reference the army of God. You've given me this other source. Is this individual linked to the army of God? And that would be the question that I would have at that particular moment. So uh, let's see how they address this point. Uh, so they identify that there are lethal shootings. So these are the violent acts. Uh, were committed thus violated the nonviolent terms of civil disobedience in which people refrain from violence. The Nashville Declaration of Document, written by a Protestant organization, claimed that the Bible explained the rationale for such behavior, behavior stating uh, that the scripture teaches that Christians are morally permitted and sometimes even obligated to violate a civil law that is in direct specific conflict with the law of God. So this is an interesting phrasing. So now it's really starting to make sense. This source has a direct connection to the point the author is making up here about the American government and prioritizing the role of Christianity. And they're giving us a source. And what I like about this source, it is direct from the terrorist group, the National Declaration. Uh, it is referencing their ideology, what they're fighting for, as well as why that they're fighting. The desire to protect religion fueled with hatred against the abortion-accepting American system, especially as abortion was an act of murder depicted to be immoral by Christian Americans. So they mentioned that up here as well. So they seem to be coming back to this uh, point about the Christian right uh, that seems to come up and Christian Americans. Through the Bible, the religious right was given indirect permission to showcase such hatred. So I'm skeptical about this indirect permission. Who's given that permission? Through acts of violence, as long as Christians claim to defend the law of God. Okay, so I see where they're going with this. That's their ideology. After losing faith in the American government, this is a reference to Roe v. Wade. Uh, the establishment of God became the primary authoritative force that governed Christian Americans. As the 80s progressed, the radical Christian rights surfaced, 
uh, prominently through a single name, the Army of God. So now they're getting into some of the evolution of the Army of God as a specific organization. Gaining momentum after the kidnapping of Dr. Hector Zavallis, a renowned abortion doctor at the time, the member of the Army of God released a ransom note whose fragment was published in the New York Times. Many institutions have become instruments of evil and are working to deprive men of life, liberty, and property in defiance of God's will. So now they're bringing up God's will. So I go back up to their thesis. You know, here up here, they're bringing up that particular point, the role of Christianity. Uh, they seem to be coming back to that particular point. Antagonizing the American system of government, the unnamed kidnappers claimed that the prime authorities of America were being manipulated by anti-religious sentiments. The purity of religion and the right of mankind lay vulnerable to the legalization of abortion. So that's perfect right there, this section, because that addresses the issue that's being made over here with the prioritizing the uh, Christianity over the American government. Uh, where was I? In America, eventually the kidnappers were released of us, but their kidnapping opened the threshold for additional anti-abortion crimes to be committed under the Army of God. Inspired by the kidnappers, Mike Griffith, member of the Army of God, issued a public address its involvement in the murder of David Gunn. Our constitution is not our highest law. Our constitution only exists as an oracle of a nation uh, conceived in birth through our declaration, which proclaims that we are endowed by our creator with the right to life. Griffith created a hierarchy of authority of Christian rights to follow by placing his faith in God above the Constitution. So again, they're coming back to that particular point. And when I look at this thesis, the student definitely seemed to address all of these points. Um, you know, they look at the evolution of the Army of God, and they kind of uh, go back to this point that um, they are uh, concerned about Christianity over the American government, and the primary focus here is Roe v. Wade. Uh, and they didn't really say much about the political left-leaning American system. They probably could have addressed that. You know, they only did a hint at that over here. But then they transitioned successfully into the Roe v. Wade in 1973. So that makes sense. Uh, maybe a, an additional sentence somewhere around here that kind of looks at the declining uh, values or maybe some of the issues that are in that National Declaration. But overall, this is a uh, perfect score. The student definitely is demonstrating a understanding of the content. How do I know that? Just the phrases that, that are used in this, um, they're able to sum up a significant amount of history just by citing this one sentence. You know, normally I might get about six sentences explaining this, and then I'm sitting there trying to figure out, okay, well, where is this going? Where is this going? This right here tells me the student did their research and they know exactly what they're writing about here.